Hey guys, this is RSR from Trick Republic and we are here today to show you how to tune your R3, 8Y or VZ5 from your own home. It's few steps, it's easy and it's fun, so let's do this. So the first step will be to order your own personal GT Fisher on our website that will get delivered within a few days. So second step will be to download your app GT Fisher on App Store and Google Play. Third step, plug it in your OBD slot. So fourth step will be extended identification of your car. You will go to your app, start ignition, connect, connecting to the device. Wait a few seconds, choose engine, identify vehicle, you will go to tools, select option, read extended identification and you will send it to us. Step 5 have two options, the first one is cheaper, we will unlock your own ECU that you will send to us and the other one is that you will buy a new ECU that we will unlock and your OEM will stay on the shelf. Now we will show you how to unmount your ECU. Either way, if you choose option one or option two, you will need to take out the ECU and put in the unlocked one. ECU unlocked arrived and you are ready to go to the next step. ECU is back in, now we just need to mount back the intake the same way we took it out and we are ready to flash the car and go have some fun. Probably a lot of you will already have an aftermarket intake like DO88, APR or Aventuri and in that case it will be much easier to take out the ECU as there will be much more space and it will be very easy to take it out. So guys, before we continue, please make always sure you have a healthy and fully charged battery. Now we can go to one of the final steps, step six. It will be flashing the car. So plug in OBD, go to your GT flasher application, put ignition on, connect, When connected, you go to engine, identify vehicle, you will go to flashing and there you will have your file ready, the one we will talk out depending on your hardware. So you choose it, you will need to make sure you have your hood open, ignition on, plugged OBD, you cannot take any calls or don't use your WhatsApp, Facebook or anything, just keep the flash going. Don't close the app or don't receive calls. You will check that you've understood every part and now you can go and start flashing. This will take a while, so be patient and keep your phone on. When the flash is over, you will switch off the ignition for 10 seconds. You will wait 10 seconds and put ignition on again without starting the vehicle so don't pull the brake and then you put ok and flash complete so guys now we're going to do the final step that would be making a data log to make sure everything uh, runs correctly and smoothly you will need your gt flasher your mobile phone a safe road or maybe you can even use the highway in late hours when there is very low traffic and let's do it. GT flasher identification, you will go to logging, general, there we will tell you what value you will need to have checked. So guys, for the logging part, um, with the RS3, you'll need to put the car in uh, performance mode, I'm not sure now how it's called, so the car doesn't shift automatically. The same in the Cupra, you will go in, the, in Cupra mode, you will need to go to manual transmission and you will need to do the logging in third or fourth gear, run from 2000 RPM and hit the limiter. 
it's always good to have a co-driver in the car because on your own it's a bit complicated you need to start logging then you need to uh, stop stop it and save it and send it to us uh, so let's do this And at the end of the log, you will need to stop recording, go back and save log. Guys, as I always say, I think it's a sin not to tune this car. The car is tuned and finished, I think it runs great, I hope you liked the video and guys I'd like to remind you that we have calibration for every R388Y and VZ5 in every corner of the world. We can flash cars in US, in Asia, we've done many, so if you like follow us and stay tuned.